software that for your final product what you need to do and this applies for both both of them you are going to need to have all of this this evidence shown in your work shape builder tool drawn side mode all of this stuff right here including number eight the color edit that a duplicate artboard is made uh, in your final product and it features an entirely different color scheme than your first one and was done using the color edit that I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so I've already done it one, twice here. So how do you get um, a duplicate artboard? Make sure first that all of your layers that you want to duplicate, duplicate um, are unlocked. So in this case, everything. Click on your artboard tool. It looks like a little piece of paper. And then you can click on any of your artboards that you want to duplicate. So I'll, I'll click on this blue one again. And when you click it, hold your Alter Option key. And you see how it changes to the black and white double arrows. Hold that Alter Option and click and drag out. You can hold Shift to make it completely straight. And drag out your artboard. And then there you go. Everything is duplicated. And then in order to recolor this, get a selection of everything on this layer by, with your selection tool, just drag out a selection, click and drag. All of this is selected. Then we're gonna go to edit, edit colors and recolor artwork. And you have this first basic option here where I, it's linked. I can just drag these and they all stay together and it creates a, a different color scheme from those colors. I can unlink them. Click on this unlink option. If I decided I didn't want the yellow there and I actually wanted maybe orange or I wanted magenta, I could j now just change just that one color across the, the entire artwork. I can link them again and change them that way. This color theme picker is pretty neat. If I have um, any picture, right? So I can go to File, Place, go to my desktop. Uh, let's find a picture here real quick. Photography. Uh, let's do, let's do just this California scene here. I'll place this picture. There it is. Go back to my color edit mode, select, recolor artwork, and choose my color picker and just click on this picture. And it applies the colors in this picture directly to my artwork. So that's another cool one. If there's like a picture on the internet that just has really cool colors in it that you like and you just want to in one click apply that or if you are a photographer and have taken your, your own pictures. Okay, so next thing that I can do, there's a color library up here where just kind of schemes, I guess, that uh, are preloaded that you could, you could choose from as well. And then there's the advanced options, which allows you more function. So the original color, here, green has been, has already, because I chose that, um, uh, I think it was ancient Egypt or art history color. So this green has already been mapped to this yellow brown. Uh, if I want to change just that yellow brown, I can double click there. I can choose uh, color swatches here, go back to my color models and choose a color here as well. Choose purple. And it changed that one color there. So let's Go to this one and do that again. There we go. I have now changed it to the red. And uh, I, the blacks here, I can double click or just click and say yes, I would like to change the blacks. Go to my color models, maybe do cyan, cyan. 
think I need to um, choose none on there. <laughs> it was keeping the colors I had chose according to the tones of this ancient uh, art history tone. So I just clicked here and did none so that I can get my original colors back mapping to the full intensity of the colors that I was choosing. And click there, I can map my whites to a different color, maybe a dark blue. There we go. And uh, let's see what else do I have. Over here, in, we have the assign, so I've just been assigning each one of these colors to a new color. I can click on edit here. There's also presets here again. I can click on that color library. I can click on color harmony and it harmonizes those colors on automatically. I can go to edit and uh, here like before I can drag and unlink to do just one color. And I can kind of change the view. And I can click on this arrow up here and I can uh, arrange them into different color harmonies and color schemes. I can do a tetrad scheme and I can adjust the colors from there. I can do a triad scheme and adjust the colors again, keeping it all triad. So experiment with this and get a, a whole new artboard and with a whole new color scheme that you, you like with it. And you'll need to do this for both of your final products.